Are you not surprised that the great bored black generation are now into love songs a la Picelli? No, because I, I think I think after you've got bored and you found something to do, then you start concentrating on things like being in love, and I think that goes through all all the time. I mean, I think people have more things to do than just talk about how bored they are. And uh, I think falling in love is one of the things that most people do. Every few decades, there comes a point where the musical landscape shifts completely and one act comes along and changes everything. The Beatles, in addition to their many important contributions to modern music and the pop rock landscape, made extremely innovative steps with technology and production and instrumentation. In the US, we had proto-everything band The Velvet Underground in the 60s spearheading avant-garde and experimental art rock. And punk rock, power pop, indie pop, pop punk, and DIY and indie culture can all be traced back to a single punk band in Manchester that formed in 1976, The Buzzcocks. And their longest running frontman was a pansexual icon. The Buzzcocks formed in Bolton in 1976, the founding members being Pete Shelley and initial lead singer Howard DeVoto. Shelley assumed the position of frontman after DeVoto's departure from the band a year later, and his influence on modern indie rock and punk rock is undeniable. Shelley brought a fresh perspective to love songs with the Buzzcocks' hit Ever Fallen In Love with someone you shouldn't have, which was a song he wrote about his roommate at the time, the title also invoking a thinly veiled reference to his bisexuality. Shelley purposely strayed from any use of labels in regards to gender in his songs, which made it universally relatable to everybody who was listening, especially LGBTQIA people with the obvious queer undertones in the title and in the lyrics. I wrote Ever Fallen In Love while we were doing the Orgasm Addict tour. We were in Edinburgh, stopping at the guest house, watching TV there. And it was the movie musical Guys and Dolls. One of the characters, Adelaide, is saying to Marlon Brando's character, wait till you fall in love with someone you shouldn't have. I thought, fallen in love with someone you shouldn't have? Hmm, that's good. I lived with Francis for about seven years. And then he went off and got married in Switzerland. He was the first, well, the second person that I actually lived with. So it was difficult times. When asked in an interview with Outpunk magazine if the omission of labels from most of his songs with the Buzzcocks was intentional, Shelley said, yes, it was. And I still do it to a certain extent because it's always good to be able to sing a song for anyone. And rather than going into the rock cliches of, oh baby, be my girl, and things like that, it's easier if you leave it open. Because then it's more honest in many ways, and gets rid of cliches. One of the few times when Shelley did use labels in a song also happened to be when the love object was a man. In his experimental solo project, Homo Sapien, the title track was a song about his romantic and sexual relationships with men, and the song was banned by the BBC for its explicit and overt references to gay sex. What makes this fact of Shelley's life particularly important to acknowledge is the fact that when we look at the punk scene and how it's evolved over the years, there still remains to be a great deal of homophobia and transphobia present in the culture. Laura Jane Grace of Against Me has even said that coming out as trans in the punk scene was just as difficult as coming out to her Christian family. And the fact that the Buzzcocks, a group who emerged onto the scene in 1976, on top of being considered one of the most seminal bands to influence DIY punk rock, were also extremely inclusive, fighting for LGBTQ rights and standing with their queer frontman as early as the late 70s, is incredibly important to take note of. 